AI is rewriting the world. So if you are wondering which programming languages for AI are worth learning in 2025, then you're in the right place. Hey everyone, welcome back to Click It. Let me ask you something. Have you ever had a brilliant AI project idea only to get stuck wondering which language to use? Happens to the best of us. Choose the wrong language and your AI project might hit a wall. From training massive neural networks to deploying models in real-time applications, the language you pick can affect speed, scalability, or even cost. So, what are the best programming languages for AI this year? Which ones should you invest your time in to build high-performance systems? Let's get into it. Like, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss an update. Python. Let's start with the king of the hill, Python. If you're considering getting into AI, of course you've heard of this name. Why is it so popular? Because it makes life easy. The syntax is clean, it's beginner friendly, and it has the richest ecosystem out there. Whether you're starting with machine learning or moving into cloud deployment, Python is there to help. Libraries like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Scikit-Learn are built for AI development and constantly updated with the newest features. Plus, Python plays super well with data tools like Pandas and NumPy. Companies like Google, Netflix, and pretty much every AI startup you can name rely heavily on Python. It can be considered the best choice for AI courses and tutorials, so learning resources are endless. From quick prototypes to full-blown enterprise deployments, Python consistently delivers. If you are new to AI, this is where you should start. It's not only a trend, but Python is the language behind most modern artificial intelligence. Java. Now, if you are working in a big company or creating high-stakes systems, Java is definitely worth looking at. This language has been around forever, but don't let that fool you. It's a still a major player when it comes to AI. Java is super stable, highly scalable, and fits perfectly into enterprise systems. A lot of the world's financial systems, banking apps, and e-commerce platforms are built with Java. So when these sectors start using AI, Java is already well integrated. It's also a popular choice for AI use cases in fintech and e-commerce due to its stability and the scalability. It also integrates well with big data platforms like Apache Spark and Hadoop which are commonly used in AI operations dealing with huge datasets. In addition, there are excellent AI and ML libraries like Deep Learning for J and Wika that allow model training and deployment to function easily with Java environments. Java is no longer only for backend codes. It's even used in detecting fraud, dynamic pricing, and even chatbots within huge organizations. If your company infrastructure is already built on Java, it simply makes sense to stay with that environment with introducing AI. Therefore, Python may be the fan favorite, but Java is also a dependable choice for AI projects. Julia, I know you want to create AI projects, but which feature matters most to you? If you are serious about speed, like in scientific simulations and real-time analytics, then meet Julia. This language was basically made for numerical computing and it's quickly becoming a favorite among AI developers. Imagine writing code that feels like Python but runs like C. That's the promise of Julia. It performs best when you need fast model training, especially on large datasets or when you are doing intense mathematical operations. It's increasingly popular in finance, physics simulations, and scientific research where performance is everything. AI researchers love Julia for its ability to handle complex computations without writing low-level code. Libraries like Flux.jl and MLJ.jl are powerful and the Julia community is growing fast. Plus, you can scale AI projects easily since it's built for parallel and distributed computing. While Julia isn't as mature as Python yet, it's making a name for itself among data scientists and researchers who need both flexibility and raw speed. If you are working on research or high-frequency AI applications, Julia's performance advantage is worth exploring. C++ You might not think of it as one of the best AI languages, but when it comes to speed and control, C++ can be matched. 
This is the language powering the backends of TensorFlow and PyTorch. It's also the technology behind AI in robotics, self-driving cars, computer vision, and pretty much anything running on devices where latency matters. C++ gives you low-level access to memory and processing power, which is critical for real-time decision-making. Sure, it's harder to write than Python, but for scenarios where milliseconds count, it's the best language for the job. Think drones, factory robots, or real-time surveillance, C++ dominates these use cases. Also, it's often paired with Python in hybrid systems where performance-critical models are greeting in C++ and the rest is greeting in Python. So, while you may not start your AI journey here, advanced developers or organizations building industrial-grade AI will definitely want C++ in the mix. Maximum speed and control for edge devices, robotics, and vision, best when latency and performance are critical. The bottom line is, if your AI application needs to be fast, efficient, and hardware close, C++ is still a major player in 2025. Rust. Now, let's talk about Rust. The up-and-comer in the AI world, if C++ scares you with its memory bugs and complexity, Rust is the cool, safety-first alternative. You get C++-level performance along with a major bonus of memory safety without needing a garbage collector. That's a big deal when you're building AI infrastructure or deploying models at scale. Rust is being adopted by cloud-native teams and even Hugging Face is using it for inference tasks. You may wonder why they do this. This is because it's great for concurrency, parallelism, and doesn't crash your application with random segmentation faults. While Rust is not known for having massive ML libraries like Python, frameworks like Burn and TCHRS are growing fast. Rust is a great fit for creating AI tools like custom model runners and APIs, especially when performance and stability matter most. It's also a strong pick if you are into edge AI and want something safer than C++. In short, if you are serious about building reliable and fast AI systems that won't crash under pressure, Rust is definitely one of the programming languages for AI worth mastering in 2025. R. Finally, let's wrap up with R the language trust by statisticians and data analysts everywhere. R was built for data analysis, and it's still being used in statistical modeling, bioinformatics, and data visualization. While it's not the first language you would reach for when training deep neural networks, R is great for exploring data and running complex statistical tests. It's heavily used in pharma, healthcare, and academic research, especially where statistical accuracy needs to be maintained. Packages like Carrot, MLR, and Random Forest make traditional machine learning easy, and tools like Shiny are great for building AI dashboards. Also, R works well with Python. So, if you are training models in Python, but want to analyze results or visualize performance in R, that's completely possible. While R won't replace Python or Java for general purpose AI, it still has a valuable place in your toolkit, especially if your AI project is tightly coupled with analytics and research-grade modeling. So, if you are in a domain where interpreting data matters as much as accuracy, R is a smart choice for 2025. Now that we have talked about all six languages individually, you should also know that most real-world AI projects don't use only one language. As I have mentioned earlier, teams prototype in Python but deploy in Rust or Java, or they run simulations in Julia and analyze the results in R. The key is understanding the strengths of each language and using them where they perform best. So, that's about all we have planned for today's video. We talked about Python's versatility, Java's scalability, C++ for raw performance, R's data smarts, and promising newcomers like Julia and Rust influencing modern AI development. Therefore, now you can see that whatever the task, a programming language 
fits the job. But we get it. Choosing the right stack for your AI project is not a simple task. There are a lot of factors that come into play, and your choice of programming language is one of them. If you are thinking about building your own AI solution, you don't have to figure it all out alone. We have helped teams design everything from AI models to production-ready systems, and we can help you too. Visit Clickit to meet our certified AI engineers and explore how we build enterprise-grade AI products from model development to full-scale deployment. If this video helped you out, give it a like, share it with your team, and hit the subscribe button for more guides on AI, tech stacks, and real-world solutions. Thanks for watching, keep building, and we will catch you in the next one.